and gentlemen, welcome to Turbo Arena, tonight's men's volleyball match between New York University and Carthage College. At this time, please direct your attention to the American flag located at the north end of the arena. It draped the coffin of Captain Frank Favron, a former Carthage student who died in Vietnam in 1970. The flag is a gift to the college from his parents. In remembering Captain Favron, we pay tribute to all who have sacrificed their lives for our country and honor those who today put themselves in harm's way in service to America. And now at this time, please rise and move your caps for the playing of our national anthem. And now for the starting lineups. Tonight's men's matchup between the NYU Violets and your Carthage Firebirds. First, let's meet the Violets. Starting at Libero, the six foot sophomore from Carlsbad, California, number two, Zach Knudsen. An outside hitter, the six five senior from Cupertino, California, number five, Gotham Desari. An outside hitter, the 6'5 sophomore from Middle Village, New York, number eight, Lucas Oshesky. An outside hitter, the 6'6 sophomore from Los Angeles, California, number nine, Luke Boyer. At center, the 6'3 senior from San Jose, California, number 11, Ryan Lee. At middle hitter, the 6'5 sophomore from Newport Beach, California, number 13, Buddy Cohen. And at middle hitter, the 6'7 sophomore from Calabasas, California, number 15, Rye Kagan. The head coach for the Violets is Jose Pina, assisted by Patrick Dietz and Ryan Casey.
Welcome one, welcome all. It's the Firebirds of Carthage College taking on the Violets of NYU. Welcome to Kenosha, welcome to Tarbell Arena. I'm Peter Ferreri, number 15 versus number one coming your way in just a moment. Carthage got their first win of the season last night, 24 hours ago, here on their home court against conference rival North Central College. On the other side, NYU coming into the preseason with that number 15 ranked overall. This is their first game of the season. So nothing like starting your season with the number one ranked team in the country. These two teams very well could meet down the road, but a lot of fun to be happening here this evening. The last time they met was not too long ago. That was January the 21st of 20. Two, a year ago, three to one, NYU defeated Carthage. Carthage on a two game losing streak. NYU is only having the two wins against this Carthage squad. First time they met was a three nothing score on the 19th of March in 2010. So again, we thank you. We know you have a lot of things to watch and a lot of options on your Friday evening, so we're glad you're here with us live on the Firebird Broadcast Network. The home Firebirds going left to right wearing the home blacks with white numbers and letters, red trim. On the flip side, the Violets of NYU wearing their Violet jerseys with white numbers and letters. Knudsen wearing the libero alternate pink today. Going right to left, libero for the home Firebirds, Jack McDonald, he'll be wearing the white. Should be a very, very, very good contest this evening. And two of the best squads in the country making their way here. In that last game a year ago, almost to the day, that was in Brooklyn. Before that, they hadn't played since 2017, which was also an NYU victory. A lot of similarities with this Carthage squad, but a lot stays the same. They lost in three straight to Purdue Fort Wayne in their season opener, but lost. 23 to 22, then 23, 25 in the other two. So we're right there with Purdue Fort Wayne in all three of those sets. And just like that, NYU starts off with a big bang. For the Violets now back to serve, number eight, Lucas Seski. Power serve, that goes too far. Immediately you heard through the headset, the Firebirds yelling out. Last year, Osieski played in 35 sets, had 65 kills and seven service aces. Now to serve, Radecki, and just like that, Radecki gets the service ace for the Firebirds. A outstanding 
crowd in attendance this Friday, a great matchup to say the least. Up serve with the right, picked up by Knudsen. Decoy with the right hand. McNulty, left hand dump, he didn't have one all night yesterday. Delivers the first one here this evening for the third point for Carthage. One of the best setters in all Division Three volleyball. Number 11, Gene McNulty. That one stays in. So one, all right, let's see what the call's gonna be. They're gonna give it to NYU. So the R2 called it out. One of the line judges set in, but R2 had that angle, so good call. Serving now Kagan. McNulty kind of pulling back. A net violation called against NYU. I believe that was on number 11, Ryan Lee out of San Jose, California, Archbishop Mitty High School. Some coast to coast players, a lot of California players on this squad. Almost more Californians than East Coast players. Also having a player kind of local out of Oak Park River Forest. About an hour or so south of here. High return off the bump. Able to dig down. Oh, what a good play by the Violets to keep the rally going. Down, kill right over the middle. David Marcus, you can't stop him. You can only hope to contain. Outstanding play. Four point lead by the Firebirds. Back set. Two hand roof. Time out called. NYU trails by five in set number one. Head coach Jose Pina. Needing the quick breather after things starting hot for this Firebird squad. Coming into today, 12 kills for Schmidt, 18 for Radecki, Cholowinski with 11, and David Marcus with 11. And just like that today, down the line with the 7 2 lead. Geiger, Jansen, Radecki, McNulty. Kolowitz, Nola, or, I mean, just an outstanding rotation of players so far have gotten some playing time. But as for kills, Jansen and McNulty with one apiece, and then Marcus with two, so up to 13 kills on the season. In Carthage, four kills total to the one of NYU. One dig, two assists, two aces. That's a big difference right now is that Carthage has two aces. So Carthage has as many aces as Violets have points. So it'll definitely be something to keep an eye on. Carthage College, for those joining us for the first time this season, welcome. Carthage defending back to back national champs, 23 and 0, two seasons ago, 24 and three. A year ago, a service ace, so good coach's point NYU. for Coast Pena. Serving for the pilots. Again, stick around for the post game show, by the way, so at the conclusion of the game, Coach Key Kafer joins me for the CCIW post game show right here on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. You see in the background, Coach Kike for sporting the Chicago One Jays today. His shoe game has uh, been on point for the first two game, home games this season. Need to get his contact for those. Back set, down, block, still alive. Good job poking at it. Still alive again. Direction over the top. 
Third time's the charm, so the Violets and Firebirds. Very interesting sequence there. It was just, you know, poke, set, and something. Poke, set, and something. Desari now. High tip, excuse me, that's still alive. Our pin down, just out of play. Desari was able to get out of the way. They're saying now point goes. Serving for Carthage, number 22, David Marcus. So it looks like Desari had a few, was going to say something, but the R2 flip side, I, it might have touched Desari on the way down or touched the line. So the R1 now having a conversation. Looks like ca calming everybody down. Speaking of the officials, Patricia Rolf, the R1, Tim McKinnon, the R2, line judges today, Peter Thomas and Alan Vu. Set near pin. Our side, good job finding the open spot at the campfire. Knutson can't get there. Nine five, Firebirds. Marcus now back to serve. He's having himself a stellar season. One of the standouts yesterday's Brummett. We still haven't seen him this evening. That hits the tape, a service error. Not a lot of service errors last night for Carthage. If 28 on the season so far. Marcus now that his seventh on the year. Out of play, good communication again. Jumping out of the way was Drew Jansen. Nulty now to serve. 6'1", 180 junior out of Marist High School. Out of play to the right. If Nulty can't return that one, NYU back to within three. Staying out of play, again, two service aces. Out of the last three points. And a service error, so service error, service ace, service ace, service error. They just wanna see how many times I can say service in a row. That one falls right in. Beautiful play by the Violets. They're backed within two. Massive serve off the left hand of Ryan Lee. Out of San Jose. A beautiful left hand. My goodness. Just hitting the tape there, a dangerous serve. For 18, Joe Collins. Back set off the decoy. Not able to get there. Drew Jansen can't go left. And teammate Collins can't go right. So just like that 12-10 your score, Double sub, as McDonald comes back into play. Serving now, Osiecki. Out of Hunter College High School. Varpin, through the triple. 
just along the right side. So Ryan Lee tried to dive for it, wasn't able to make contact. And just like that, 13-10. So it's a 7-2 lead, so the pace is picked up a bit for the Violets. As serving now as Radecki hits the tape, still alive. Almost a tape ace. That one goes out of play. McDonald doesn't make contact. 14-10, your score. With the right hand. Oh, what a beautiful ace. Kyle Radecki sends a scorcher along the right side. Luke Boyer out of Oakwood High School in Los Angeles could not get the right fin up in time. Five point lead by the Firebirds. Spin again, hits the tape, still alive. Set near pin. Not able to get down is McDonald. Beautiful kill attempt by the Firebirds. 15 10, four point advantage now. Serving now, Rye Kagan. Out of Calabasas, California, and a ace. Point. Served up NYU. by NYU within three. So NYU keeping in there. They need some of these two for ones. Kagan, the middle hitter, 6'7. 10 foot line. Oh my goodness. Massive kill. For Carthage. Serving now Mitch Geiger, the 6'4 senior out of Muskegon, Wisconsin. Quick set, right paw, keeping alive. Back. Good job on the pancake. One attempt, high up by Rick McDonald. Over the middle, and that one stays in play. Carthage gets the long rally point. Five point lead. Service ace, 17-13. Serving for the pilots, number five, Jotham Nassari. Nassari, serve, couldn't get there on the return. Saw him creeping up to that 10 foot line. He almost felt it was gonna be there but couldn't make enough of an adjustment. David Marcus. So checking it back in now is Cholowinski, the middle blocking 6'8", sophomore, Lakes Community High School. Out of play. Another ace. Carthage, they are serving up a full plate of aces this evening NYU. as Carthage with another one, four aces this evening. While we have a minute here in set number one, we want to remind everybody that College Sport Communicators are celebrating Membership Appreciation Week presented by ESPN through the 24th of January. Athletics, communications, and creative professionals coordinate public and media relations. Websites, social media, graphic design, videography, statistics, and much more as their strategic communicators for college and university athletic departments and conferences offices throughout North America. The athletic communicators for today's game is Director of Strategic Communications, Sam Boyle, and Director of Digital and Social Media, Casey Aker, Carthage College. Thank you. For all our athletic communications and creative staff members, 
do in support of your student athletes, coaches, and institutions. For more information, check out collegesportscommunicators.com slash celebrate CSC. Nineteen, thirteen, Carthage. The Firebirds lead over the Violets of NYU. Season opener for NYU against the number one ranked Firebirds of Carthage. Took Purdue Fort Wayne to the limit in their first game, losing in three, but only losing by a combined seven points through all three sets. Winning yesterday against the Cardinals in convincing fashion in three straight on their own, coming back in all three. NYU comes in preseason number 15. Points. Shows why they are getting their 14th point. Serving for the Violets. Number nine, Luke Boyer. Serving Boyer. Right over the middle, off the left arm, Boyer. What a smart play, Drew Jansen. He actually preemptively jumped, but didn't extend the arms. Kind of felt that if it's eye level, I'm not going for it. Number 11, G. McNulty. So that worked out in his favor. McNulty. Over the middle. Decoy, double block. Beautiful play by the left hand of Boltice, the middle blocking 6'6 senior out of Chicago Christian High School in Tinley Park, Illinois. Carthage needs four to take a convincing set one victory over the Violets. Oh boy, answering right back, Buddy Cohen. The middle hitting 6'5 sophomore out of Newport Beach, California and Corona Del Mar High School. Cohen with the right. Far set McNulty. Oh my goodness. Arguably the best set of the evening thus far by Jeannie McNulty. Renecki now. Hits it into the middle of the net. Service aces and service errors, the plus and minus for this Carthage squad so far. Coming into the day's game, Carthage was 16 service aces to 28 service errors. Oh man, what a beautiful serve by Lee. Coming up from behind, no tip called, point Firebirds. Firebirds. And things sailing just a little bit. For NYU in this set number one, Carthage within two of set one victory. One attempt, good one set. Lee over to Kagan. Carthage couldn't make the quick adjustment. And nonetheless, Beautiful play by NYU to claw back in this set number one. They're gonna need a few more in a row to hold off Carthage winning set one. Joust, near pin, through the double block, another point for the Violets, Luke Boyer. So serving again is Osiecki. who comes to find out is the only New York product. After Allen comes from Honolulu. 
Rasmussen, Oak Park, and then one other player, Brian Liu out of Queens. So two New York products. One Illinois, one Hawaii, and the rest California. NYU. NYU gets another point, 23-19. So just like that, bit of a run. NYU now getting four out of the last five total points. From behind, directional set, and that might go out of play. Good job by NYU keeping it in, not able to keep it in. So we're now at set one point. The Firebirds 24, NYU 19. Let's see where things end. Radecki to serve for the set. Isolation kill. Gotham to Sari breaking some floorboards out of Monte Vista High School. Ry Kagan. Off the double. Chicken wing side bump to keep the rally alive on the free ball. Back set. And that's going to be all she needed. Set one, 25 for the Firebirds, 20 for the Violets. Can NYU come back and tie it up at one apiece in set two? Or will Carthage take it in two straight? We'll find out when we come back on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Welcome back. Service error starts off set number two. Firebirds getting the first point. Thank you for joining us on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Tarbell Arena, Kenosha, Wisconsin at Carthage College. I'm Peter Ferrari. This Friday evening matchup, number 15 versus number one. Great early season test for both squads. Third game overall for Carthage. First one for NYU as Dasari gives the shoulder shrug after an outstanding kill on the far side. Out of play past the back row. to serve now is with a 2-1 lead was Radecki high set tip over the middle good job by Knutson getting down in time that one stays just out of play Knutson good job dodging the attack Tied it two and set two. Sending it way too far was Kagan. One of the serve specialists for the NYU squad. Has very pronounced setup, you know, kind of like a free throw. Bounce, looks like bounces three times, gives it a spin and then goes. Sorry, keeping it in play. Free ball, left hand alive, Geiger. Side set, decoy, and that one's gonna go out of play. So good job by the bench to communicate, get out of the way. Early tie at three apiece.
Played off the Raptors is McDonald. It, it gets tricky up there, especially if it's, you know, pinballs around between the pillars and then just kind of drops on an angle or gets a spin on the way down. Nonetheless, NYU, an early set two lead. That one stays in. Miscommunication back row between McDonald and teammate Radecki. Desari now to serve. Last season, Desari 155 kills out of 56 sets played. One of the top players returning to this NYU squad. Set near pin, off the double block. Over the middle and through the woods as NYU gets a massive kill over the middle. Extending their lead seven to three and Coach Keekafer is gonna take a timeout. As that is four in a row for NYU as it was tied at three apiece. This NYU squad, gotta tip your hat as well to the academic side of things. The, the United Volleyball Conference UVC has announced its academic honors and six members of NYU's men's volleyball as well as the Violets as a whole, guess what, they got recognized. All academic recipients must have a minimum, excuse me, a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.30 on a 4.0 scale, a 4.10 on a 5 scale, or an 82 on a 100 point scale. Following the completion of this past spring semester, in addition, the student athletes must be at least a sophomore academically, display positive conduct on and off campus, and be enrolled full time at the member institution. As a team, the Violets had a 320 GPA for the academic year. Ryan Lee, Brian Liu, and Gotham Desari are three of those players, to name a few. So congratulations to them for their continued academic excellence. Coach Pena said, I'm very proud of the academic achievements of the young men who are part of our men's volleyball program, their hard work in the classroom as they deal with the demands of athletics and their many other interests demonstrates how remarkable they are. Last year, they advanced to the semifinals of the UVC tourney. Left hand, sorry, can't get there as that one goes way out of play. And that is a coach of coaches point. As Carthage back to within three. NYU recently coming off a scrimmage against Stevens, a scrimmage against Farley Dickinson. The alumni game six days ago, and then here we are in Kenosha. Left hand, Lou, point. Oh, it actually dropped down, my apologies, 7-5. Now at a two point differential. It was originally four, two in a row for Carthage coming out of the timeout. That's another gimme point by Marcus out of Wabatosa East High School. Redirection along the left. Luke Boyer now looks like uh, he was having a few words with some Firebird fans, but nonetheless, four point lead and sends that one out of play. Looks like the fans right away are talking back to one of the Violets players. 
to note, Brummett has not seen the court yet this evening, so we'll have to talk with Coach Kike from the post-game show. Coach's decision, or rest. We'll have to see Brummett had a stellar night last night. My goodness. Brummett had four kills, four aces. Didn't get a lot of playing time his first two years, but again, when you are, you know, a bit lower in the depth chart, two national championship teams, now is your time to shine to bring it. Serving now, Drew Jansen, lead still at three, 10-7. Soft touch over, palm up, and they are gonna say it hit the ground, so. Wasn't sure if that was gonna be the call or not. It was. Luda serve, left hand, such a beautiful serve. Sets up that offensive attack for the Violets. Let's see what happens here, back set, Desari. Tip called against Knudsen, the libero. Long rally favored that of the Firebirds. Carthage down 11 to eight, so it's still back and forth with this three point battle. That one hits the net and falls. Point deficit. Serving now is James Hogg. Or excuse me, Osiecki. Osiecki actually changed numbers from last year. Last year, Osiecki was number four. Last year had 65 kills. Along with seven service aces, this year moved to number eight. Thirteen nine. so NYU still keeping pace right now with maintaining that three to four point lead. Back set, oh, just using the fingertips to knock it down, all smiles, number 15, Kagan. A little bit of a Midwest trip for this NYU squad is they will be playing Aurora University in the Spartans tomorrow before heading back east to play Keene University in Union, New Jersey. A week from tomorrow, Carthage needs their second timeout, 15-9. Your score. As we crunch some of the numbers, midway through set number two, a, a, a firm lead by six for the Violets. Kill differential, 18 for the Violets to 15 to Carthage. Four errors apiece. NYU hitting at a 412 percentage, a very good amount. 379 for Carthage. Five aces for NYU to four of Carthage. 10 service errors to eight NYU leads in that category. I guess category you don't want to lead in per se. 12 digs for Carthage to nine. NYU. But again, these past few points, three out of the past four have gone NYU's way. So Coach Kefer wanting to slow things down a bit. Last time they played, similar story in the sense that Carthage won set one 25-23. NYU then went three straight, 25-21, 25-18, and then 25-12 in set four. 
And again, that's the defending national championship team. Almost a year ago to the day. One goes out of play. Carthage, coach's point again. So both timeouts have led to the unofficial coach's point. Coach Kike for all you know, we'll have to ask him about that post game. Seems a, as one may say, more traditional timeout user. Hey, let's stop the momentum of the other team. Double block down. Loud screams as they should as Marcus teamed up with McNulty. So Gene McNulty, again, stands 6-1 himself at the setting position, but amongst Giants when he's around Marcus at 6-7. Cholowinski, 6-8. Near side. McDonald looking for anything. Resets up Lee. Block back down, all six Violets were a very rare thing to see that. All six Violets were in front of the 10 foot line and clustered together. If you were to split the half court into quarters, they were in a quarter of that. And just like that, three nothing run for the Firebirds to bring Carthage back 15 to 12. So they're once again within three. So good job by the Firebirds to come out of that timeout and make something of it. And we're glad you're here with us on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Pete Ferrari from Tarbell Arena in Kenosha. Looking back at that game last year, again, uh, not to harp so much on a game that happened a year ago, but, but nonetheless, it's something to you know, keep one's eye on as Marcus had eight kills. Bolt Heiss had five and a block. So it's a tough game for both squads. What uh, Key Kafer said after last year's game it was awesome to get in the gym, compete against with this team. I love the group of guys and how we battled, but credit to NYU, they passed the ball incredibly well and stayed in system. I thought they won the serve pass battle. It's tough to win when you are behind in New York. We have to be better defensively if we want to get where we want to go this season. He also said it was great. To, it was awesome to see Marcus contribute in his first collegiate match. He brings so much fire. So last year was already commending Marcus, who's now one of the leaders offensively and defensively for this Carthage squad right out of the timeout. Jumping out of the gym is Luke Boyer. Boyer, 6'6", 170, slight of frame, but definitely has the vertical to deliver a nasty kill. Dig for Knudsen. Right back as it hits the tape. Not happy with himself is Desari. 16, 13, Carthage within three. They need to make a run if they want to come back in this set, number two. Looking for the directional set was Osieki. Not able to do so, hits the tape and falls. So too quick, one may say mental mistakes by the Violet squad. As we now have Dave Marcus. Service ace. Is the place. Boyer couldn't get the right elbow up in time. Firebirds with in one.
to serve. Marcus clears the tape. McDonald digs. Far side. Tip back. Make that Knutson. Boyer. Back row. No tip. Boyer is jumping up and down in frustration. As he was not satisfied with the line judge's call. Carthage tie. Knudsen with the retrieval. Self-preservation poked up. Left hand. Dig down low. Ziecki still alive. And they're going to call double hit on Carthage. NYU gets that point back. Boyer now to serve. Bo Boyer a very vocal player for the sophomore. McNulty over the middle. Desari has to fall back. Not able to get there. Tip called as NYU extends the ever so slight lead back to two. Looked like the line judge was having a conversation with Desari about his, his right quad. Might, might be taped up right now. So conversation now with uh, Coach Key Kafer is talking to his junior setter McNulty. McNulty talked to the R1. Now McNulty is talking to the R2. We're now ready to continue on. So not sure what that conversation was. McDonald thought it went past midcourt. It did not. Desari, though, gets the point anyways. He points right down. So two very close calls that have gone Carthage's way have ended up uh, getting the point back. As now the R1 is having a conversation with Desari. So not quite sure what, uh, again, that might be a conversation that, a warning. Again, Desari is uh, tilting his head, so it looks like a, might have gotten a warning. We'll have to find out later on, but. Decoy over the middle. Hits the tape, rolls over, point, Firebirds. A lot of close calls that have slowed the pace down just a bit. As McNulty now back to serve. With the left. Double block, but out of play. Tool kill for NYU. Right hand over, out of play, so Carthage gets the point back. They're gonna have to have a few of those in a row though. So serving now, number five, Easton Gavin. The backup libero, also one of the serve specialists for this Carthage squad. Let's see if they can block back down and Carthage can't get there. NYU getting all the breaks, earning the breaks as Lee 
Now back to serve. Twenty-one eighteen. Pilots need four. Right back at him. That gets the crowd on their feet. NYU is able to get the return. Joe Kolwitz. The lefty to Boyer, Lee. Isolation, good placement. For the Violets. Carthage trails by three. NYU needs three in set number two. To far, Osiecki with the gimme point back to Carthage. Can Carthage screen some together? <laughs> gimme point right back is Radecki. Another service error. So gimme points both teams. Mitch Geiger now. Does he go for it all with a power serve? Does he play it safe just to get the chance for the rally? Let's see here. With power, out of play. And the crowd at Tarbo has been Quieted to serve to Sari. Over the middle. Newton. Lee. Decoy. Boyer tips it over, and Luke Boyer comes away victorious for NYU 25 to 21 to tie it up at one set apiece. We'll take a timeout, set three coming your way on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. And welcome back to the Firebird Broadcasting Network. I'm Peter Ferrari. Excited to bring you some ranked men's volleyball action from Tarbell Arena, double block, Carthage. But that's gonna stay in play. NYU gets the first point here of set number three. Set one favored that of the Firebirds, 25 to 20. The Violets came storming bat in set two. Got close at the end, but they prevailed 25 to 21. Decoy, that one falls down. Not able to get down in time. For the Firebirds is number eight, Kyle Radecki. Or excuse me, on the other side, Lucas Osiecki. That number changed, sometimes just gets you. <laughs> Radecki now serves. Radecki serves into the net. Something that has uh, hurt, we'll say, the Carthage squad so far today. 10 service errors to five aces, so not the differential you want. Decoy, Desari block, near pin. Four hits gonna be called. Desari trying to have a conversation with the R2 that he thought maybe a Firebird player had hit it. Service error into the net. Give me point again to Cart to NYU. 
Again, two service errors out of the three points of NYU. Blocked back, right hand, chop up. Good job finding the angle was Drew Jansen. Marcus now to serve. Not able to keep it in play. But the right hand was Radecki. You gotta wonder at some point, and again, I'm not saying it's a season long thing, it's a game to game, maybe set to set, if at some point, it'll be something we have to ask Coach Kikafer. Again, the post game show, Coach Kikafer at the conclusion of the game. We take a quick timeout, we come back and talk to Coach. It's gonna be something we have to ask, is you ever tell him to just scale back a bit? If, if the service ace attempts aren't going the way of the given squad. McNulty serves. McDonald, half a step toward the net. Jerry Fang in the game now, the 6'2 freshman out of Fremont, California. Double block. Not happy about it is Boyer just a half step away. Again, we say his name just because of his emotional reactions, good or bad, as Fang checks out. Again, non-conference game, so you, you, you want to try maybe to do a little bit more different rotationally or mix things up a bit. So also you want to try to fine-tune things as much as possible. It's a very fine line. I was always told the best coaches can do both. That'll go tipped out of play. Point going to Carthage. Some of the NYU players thought it might have gone back and forth. So once again, Gotham Dasari talks to the R1 just to try to get uh, some clarification, you could say. Dasari, one of the few seniors on the squad. Substitution error, or excuse me, rotational error called against Dasari. Carthage gets a 7-5 lead. So Ryan Lee wanted clarification from the R1. Jansen serves. Serves out of play. Half the points in set number three have come the way of errors from Carthage. That one wasn't a scorcher, but still went too far. Lee, that lethal left-handed serve falls just a foot. Past the back line, so a gimme point right back to Carthage. Hand. Lee back sets. Trying to kick it with the left foot as Kagan didn't go anywhere. Carthage up by three. Let's see if Coach Pena decides to take a timeout at some point. Right now, just telling the squad, like, hey, move, move together. You know, right? Very flat set number three right now for the Violets. Not able to angle that one into play is Jansen. Point goes back to NYU.
Osiecki to serve. Back set. Oh! Biggest kill of the night. Kyle Radecki breaking the floorboards. That was a 12 to six kill job. Carthage leads by three. Fans on their feet. The thunderous play. Jurdot now serves. Stays in bounds. Boyer puts his hands over his mouth. He knew he had to be close to that one. He was not. Jurdot serves again. Decoy. Desari gets blocked at the net. The roof is on fire for the Firebirds. Timeout called 12 to 7. Desari gets double blocked by the 1 2 punch of the Firebirds. 12 to 7. Carthage leads. What a turn of events. Set number two. All Firebirds. What a turnaround for this squad. In set number three, crunching the numbers. Kill leaders for Carthage, six for Jansen, six for Radecki. Again, Cholowinski has hardly played. Marcus at five kills. Only one solo block for Jansen. Again, looking at the top 15, Carthage at the top with 20 votes, 339 points. And there's NYU with 27 votes, or 27 points to stay at that 15 mark. Thank you to our outstanding graphics crew for putting that up there just to show the perspective. You know, this isn't just a random other school. This is a top, top, ranked team top challenge you want to get yourself ready for conference play why not play the best you know just to talk about some of the other coaches and players here and squads for Carthage it was the same thing for one of the early games for coach Jerichovic and the men's basketball squad they played Whitman College from the west coast one of the best teams at the D3 level out there and a service error out of the timeout by Jurdot, but again, they ended up losing to win, but he's like, I want as tough a test as possible. So similar situation here. Nothing like a one versus 15 matchup for the first game of the season for the Violets. Out of play, point goes back. I Kagan thought he might have just touched the bass back line. Five-point lead for Carthage, but we know NYU can put up some points and get some runs together. Doesn't clear the net. Four hits. As Carthage gets another one. 25-20 was set one, Carthage. 25-21, NYU set two. Six-point lead for Carthage. Another gimme for the Firebirds. Back to the Violets. 15 service, ace, er, service errors now. From the 10 foot line, they're saying it was touched. Free ball, near pin. Nice dig for Carthage, far side! The R2 is having a conversation with Coach Pena because Coach Pena is like, that was four hits! Desari's throwing up the four fingers. But the R1 is saying, no, there was a slight contact right in front. 
So coach, excuse me, so the R1 is having a conversation with the sorry saying that's gonna be a violation and a warning. A red card issued on Coach Coach Pena. So Desari now trying to vocalize back to the coach. He, he's, he's kind of smirking about it, but again, nonetheless, a warning's a warning, a red card is a red card. You gotta pay attention to that one. It can really give momentum to the side of the Firebirds. It was a close call, but nonetheless, the R1 is right there. Desari gets the point. Again, if you're NYU, you can't let the emotions of the conversations with the, with the referees affect the gameplay. You won convincingly in set number two. You know you can keep up with this Carthage squad. Service error, those are things you can control. Mind you, Carthage has made plenty of errors on their own, but you can control those type of situations. So now a 17-10 lead for Carthage. That one stays in play. NYU gets another point. I have called a lot, a lot of college volleyball in my time. A lot of non-conference volleyball. It is not often when this early in the season a team is so vocal with the officiating crew on very close calls. Mind you, the CCIW elects not to use replays, so it's not as if that can go back and get, get checked. McDonald keeps it alive, through the double. Desari, left hand. NYU can't get there, this Firebird crowd erupts. You have to know if you're a visiting squad, if you're the away team and some abnormalities occur, if they don't go your way, that crowd is gonna eat it up. And that is what's happening here in set number three, seven point lead, 18-11. Missed time, but that stays. Oh, I thought it say, I thought it might have crossed the net. It did not. My eyes had yet deceived me. 19, 11. So Ryan Lee tried the jump set while falling toward the far pin. Complete missed time with Kagan. Decoy near pin, that stays in. Ryan Lee now to serve, the lethal lefty. And I use that term very generously as he has a arguably the most powerful serve on the court tonight. And it hits the tape. 2012. You know, at this point, you don't want to necessarily even see a timeout. If you're NYU, just kind of let this set end, regroup. Joe Kolwitz now to serve, left hand. Boyer down low, lead decoy, Desari. Over the middle, Lee can't get there with the left hand. Set three has turned out to be all Carthage. Colwitz serves the six foot setter, freshman out of Worthington, Ohio. To the far pin, high off the double. Back set, down, punched alive, left hand. 
Double block still alive. Double block hits the ground. Carthage in Fuego. 10 point lead, 22 to 12 in the third. Coach Pena again having a conversation with the R2. He's got to watch himself. He's on a red card right now. Clears the net. Trying to find the gap. Knudsen's there. That stays in play. Right in the gap. Beautiful play by NYU. Taking a deep breath before the serve. Osiecki. McNulty near side. That stays in play. Kyle Radecki fired up. Lead extended back to 10, 23 Firebirds, 13 NYU. Block back down, the setter, Gene McNulty getting involved as well defensively. Throws up the double flex. Carthage set three point. And that point's going to go to NYU. All of Tarbell Arena on their feet. Out of play, set three, 25 Carthage, 14 NYU. Can Carthage close it out in four? Or will NYU force that fifth set? We'll find out when we come back on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. And welcome back to the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Lee serves the lefty, McDonald. With the return, picking up where they left off, number 14, bang, Bolt Ice with a massive kill. Serve over, Lee. Decoy 10 foot line, Boyer resets up the Carthage attack. Near pin, down, tip called, right arm in. Another point for the Firebirds. Lee over the middle. Much behind it, it looked too much fingertips. Sorry gets blocked back down. That actually is gonna fall on the side of Carthage. Key Kafer just smiling with the squad right now. Like I wanted, like I said, it's gonna be very interesting to see the adjustments made by NYU, not game plan wise emotionally, communicatively, out of play. Rotation, error, NYU. Boyer's throwing his hands up and he's telling Desari that he wasn't far enough over. Again, just kind of a, a mental error. No other way to put it. Out 
out of play, give me point right back to NYU. Again, if you're NYU, there, there's a few ways to look at this right now. Yes, first game of the year, working out some kinks. Yes, non-conference game. However, you're playing the, right now, number one team in the nation, service ace. That's what you want to see if you're a Violets fan. Because come postseason, you want to know mentally we can keep up with them without these uh, issues of floundering that have happened a bit in the second half of set number three into now. And also, oh boy, big kill attempt. Back set to Sari, right back in his grill. Number two, Mitch Geiger. But the point I was getting at is you also want to be able to say, you know, to the national rankers, hey, guess what? We, we're pretty good, and you should keep us in your considerations. Now, taking one set in a hostile environment is already a big win. However, if you could take it to five, that changes the game. Hits the tape, luck of the roll. Out of play touch, gonna be called on McDonald, the 6'4 libero of Vernon Hills High School. So Desari back to serve. We have said his name quite a bit this evening. A reigning Arthur Ashe Jr. Sports Scholar first team. He was second on the team last year in kills per set. Had a career high 16 kills last year against St. Joe's. Osiecki right now at 13 kills himself, leading the way for this New York squad. Nice redirection over the middle. NYU has it helped out by number 13, Buddy Cohen, the sophomore middle hitter out of Newport Beach, California. Haven't said his name a lot this evening. No words need to be said. How about what Bolt Heist just did to the floorboards, the 6-6 middle blocker. Boom. 7-5 Firebirds. Service error by Carthage. It sounds like a broken record, but every few points that they, they give another point away. Seventeen, make that eighteen service errors now for Carthage. That one too far. Came from the service specialist Jerry Fang, so a service error for a service error. And again, with, with the power of a team like Carthage, you know there's going to be service errors. You know it's going to happen with the way they deliver. You just don't think it's going to happen as often as it does, at least here this evening. Coming into today's game, between two games, Carthage had 16 service aces and 28 service errors. So they're already 10 shy of what they did through two games. So you know they're the aggressor at the line, but again, maybe 11 or 12 a game. And those are both, and that's only in six sets, mind you. Game one, three set sweep, lost Purdue, Fort Wayne, three set sweep last night against the Cardinals. Or Lakeland University, my apologies. The Muskies had a good game against Carthage, just couldn't keep up with them. North Central two nights ago played the men's basketball program here at Tarbell Arena. Just great athletics night after night here at Carthage. 
It's an honor and pleasure to be here on the call night after night with them. So back to serve. Again, need not say another service error, but of course that's what happened. High back set, McNulty. Oh, what a nice set. That might be his finest set of the past two nights. Again, stick around for the post-game show with Coach Key Kafer. Immediately following the game, we'll take a timeout, and we'll be joined by Coach. Now, albeit, you may say, okay, momentum's favoring that of Carthage. It's a one-point lead in the third. Crowd has been very quiet here in the third. A lot of emotions, or excuse me, in the fourth. A lot of emotions occurred in the third, and that's going to stay in play. So just like that, the Violets have tied things up. With one of the serve specialists for the Violets back at the helm, Rye Kagan. Give me point. Back to Carthage. So as much as we are calling out this Carthage squad for service errors, NYU's up to 20 three of their own. Geiger, absolute missile. Lee, far side, Boyer, Tool. Bust out the chainsaw for that one, Now to serve. Over the middle out of play, no touch. As Buddy Cohen kind of redirected that to the right, was hoping to get off the outstretched left arm of one Bolt Heist. Didn't happen. Bolt Heist, middle blocking seniors we talked about. Not a lot of playing time right now. Does have the double knee guards on, so along with a right ankle brace, so maybe just easing into this season. Sorry, not able to find it. Big point lead now for Carthage. No timeouts being taken here in the fourth. And just as I say it, they must have got the bat signal. Timeout called. We'll stay here. Carthage has a two sets to one lead and a three point lead here in set number three. While we have a moment, we want to remind everybody College Sports Communicator celebrates Membership Appreciation Week presented by ESPN that runs through the 24th of January. Athletic communications and creative professionals coordinate public and media relations, websites, social media, graphic design, videography, statistics, and much more as the strategic communicators for college and university athletic departments and conference offices throughout North America. The lead athletic communicators for tonight's teams are Director of Strategic Communication, Sam Boyle, and Director of Digital and Social Media, Casey Aker of Carthage College. Thank you for all our student communicators and creative staff members do in support of your student athletes, coaches, and institutions. For more information, check out collegesportscommunicators.com slash celebrate CSC. A 
Again, any time you get to the honor of calling a game here for this Carthage squad, none better than Sam and Casey. So thank you for all they offer here. It's a joy to work with this team. Whenever I get the call, NYU comes into town, ranked number 15, season opener. Down three in the fourth. Took set two before, after losing in set one. However, set three, a very interesting turn back and forth it went before things really shifted the middle of set three with some very, very close calls. But nonetheless, even though NYU, that stays in. Right now, Coach Pena having a conversation with Boyer. Because again, Boyer you know, threw his hands up. He's saying, you got to calm down. you got to let it go. Cl close calls are not being, let's say it this way, for both teams this evening. Close calls are not, so Desari now is having a conversation once again with the R1. And Asari is, uh, let's just say, conversing with the R1 and just getting saying, hey, this, I, it's my call to agree with them or not. And it looks like shrugging his shoulders is number 14, Jerry Fang, the freshman. So maybe that was a, a bench warning because they seem to not agree with the call. But again, there's... There's ways to look at this. When it's a close call, it's either going to be that one goes out of play. That is either going to favor throughout an evening on the side of the kill or to the side of the defense. In this circumstance tonight, for both teams, it has favored that of staying out. They have favored out. They have erred on the side of out. It has been consistent. It has been against that of NYU in the sense of when it is close to being out. It has gone against the NYU getting the point. But with that being said, that also, you know, the coach has gotten the red card already. Yeah, you want to support your team, but at the same time, if your team keeps yelling, it's, an, it's a tough situation all around. They're young men, they're trying to find their way. But at the same time, what we have seen tonight, to use the term chirp, chirping at the refs is not going to get you anywhere. So Boyer's checking out. Coming in is number 20, Kyle Rasmussen. After all that, NYU still only trails by two. So checking in now is Jerry Fang. Decoy through Desari with the left hand. Out of play. Are they calling the tip? They are. So they're giving the point to NYU. They're saying tip, or no tip was called against Carthage. So originally I thought there was a tip on NYU. They're saying no touch. Again, these are close calls that are going both ways. Carthage still leads by but one. Can't get down on that one is Jerry Fang. A tape ace. 
by Drew Jansen. You know what's ironic is throughout the amount of service errors and service aces that have happened this evening, I am surprised there haven't been more of those. They have been all or nothing. Mishandle there, four hit. Oh, they're saying point is gonna go to NYU. Reach over called. So Coach Pena telling Lee, give it all, give it everything. At this point, you know, you're down only two, but you're also down a set. Decoy. Sailing through, that stays in. Shrugging it off is Rasmussen. Again, a somewhat local product out of Oak Park River Forest. Not too far away from here. Carthage needs six. A interesting evening to say the least. To say the least, excuse me. Colwitz, no aces on register. You backed within two. Again, if you're Carthage, you want to close this out now. You want six points. You want to finish it in four. Because if you let NYU and all their emotions come back into play in a fifth, I would not want to be Carthage if that's the circumstance. So let's see what Carthage can finish the job here in the fourth. Tip over to Sari. Over the middle. Not able to get there. Drew Jansen, time out, likely gonna be called, and it is. So just like that, Carthage leads by one, three of the last four points have gone the way of NYU. Kill by Kagan, kill by Desari, kill by Osieki, leads us to a 19-18 slim one point lead for the Firebirds. Well, we have a moment. Let's look at some of those overall stats. Leading the way in digs is Knudsen with nine for NYU, seven for Radecki on the flip side of things. Overall numbers, Carthage only 72 total attempts versus 96 of NYU. Carthage at a 417 clip, big difference. Service errors, 23 for NYU, 20 for Carthage. Total blocks, 16 for Carthage, three of NYU. So NYU not doing as much at the net, but again, are within one. They come away here, it's all evened up, going to set number five. Again, if you're Carthage, you wanna finish here. NYU has the skill set. They're number 15 ranked for a reason, they have the eyes of the nation when it comes to their skills and abilities. It'll be interesting to follow them throughout the season to see how this team prevails. Back set, out of play. Point NYU. The line just shook his head, no. Folks, we're tied at 19. What a turn of events here in the fourth. Direction. Out of play, NYU thought they were gonna get the tool the R2 said no touch, NYU leads. So both points coming out of the timeout have gone the way of the Violets. Service air, point goes back to Carthage. Can the Tarbell Arena fire up the squad First to five is gonna win this set. Or extras if needed. 
must win by two. Firebird Broadcasting Network, Pete Ferrari, that one doesn't even clear the net. That falls under the net, point right back. Set over the middle, out of play, point NYU. Some of the bench of Carthage thought there was a touch. Time out called by Key Kafer again. Some of the NYU players now uh, jokingly saying pull a card on Key Kafer, but nonetheless, time out called. Folks, a out of all my years, this is one of the more unique games I have ever called. Looking ahead for this men's volleyball squad, they get a break for about seven days before heading out of town to the Pam Evans Smith Arena to take on Juniata College, Messiah University, and Wittenberg University. They play two on the 28th of January, one on the 27th before heading back home Thursday, Feb the 2nd, against the Banana Slugs of UCSC University of California, Santa Cruz. I had the pleasure of calling that game a year ago. Always fun when the Banana Slugs come into town. Followed up then a game Feb 4th against Benedictine. We're heading due south about an hour and a half to Aurora University where they're back home against Stevens on the 10th of February for ring and banner night. I did joke in the post game show yesterday with Coach Keycaper, if they win another game, does another game, if they win another championship, does the broadcaster get a ring? He chuckled. If they win another one, I might hold him to it. NYU, 22, Carthage, 21. Out of play. NYU gets the point. Sorry. Clears the net. Hitting the tape. Mitch Geiger set four point for the Violets. Midway, th I, I, I said this 10, 15 points ago. The momentum seemed to be in favor of Carthage, but they only had a two point lead. And stays in play. So for as much as you may feel the momentum's in your favor, unless it's a five, six, seven point lead as it was in the last set, when you have the skill set and the fortitude like the Violets do, you, you it's not done. Carthage needs two to set at the extras. Marcus. Good dive. Directional set on the free ball. Decoy, off the tip, punched up. Not able to get there clean was David Marcus. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We're going to five. What an end of set number three. Carthage 22, NYU 25. Fifth set, best of 15, coming up in a second on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Pilots number 11, Ryan Lee. We are back, set five. Number one, number 15, McNulty. Draws first blood with the left hand dump. 
his second successful dump of the evening, gives Carthage the 1 0 lead. Thank you for joining us on the Firebird Broadcasting Network, Tarbell Arena, Kenosha, Wisconsin, at Carthage College. A heated matchup. Almost knocking him out. Zach Knudsen, my goodness, obliterated by the kill from Carthage. Again, set number five, best of 15. McNulty. Not able to get there. Good kill over the middle. Ry Kagan. 6 7 one, 80 out of Calabasas, California. Osiecki. McNulty. One kill right over the middle. NYU couldn't get up in time. Serving now Jansen out of Germantown High School, out of play. Another gimme point to NYU. You know, we talked about last set how Carthage, although might the, the, the sense was they had the momentum too many gimme points, too many service errors. And why you gives a service error right back. You can't always bank on the opposing team giving points right back. Kolitz, the freshman from Worthington. Two service errors, able to clear the net on that one. Far side. Soft over the double block. Right hand high off the double block. Near side. Side bump on the free ball. Can NYU set up the attack? Good return, Carthage. Long rally here. Desari. Blocked right back. Out of play. Smithson. Firebirds on their feet. Breaking through. Gautam Desari with a nice kill. NYU backed within two, former UVC All-Academic, four-year team member in high school. Back on the side of Carthage. Desari can't get low enough. The Carthage faithful getting vocal. Six, three, Carthage needs nine. They switch at seven, which is in a lot of ways a unofficial timeout. Oh, <laughs> oh, baby. Ryan Lee, the six, three setter out of San Jose with the beautiful dump right in the middle of the campfire. Stays in play. Two quick ones by NYU. They're within one. Quick one set. That's going out of play, and it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Three point run for NYU. We are tied at six. 
Rasmussen with the serve out of OPRF. No lead safe this evening. Out of play. Gimme points come, gimme points go. Far side, tip over the triple, oh, wasn't able to clear. Double block, right back down! Oh my word! Rotation needed, it's the eighth point for the Firebirds, NYU. NYU had tied it six apiece after a three nothing run. Just like that, Carthage rattles off two of their own. Carthage is six away. NYU is more. NYU needs eight. Excuse me. <laughs> Carthage, seven. NYU, nine. Team switch sides. Like I said, an unofficial timeout for that rotation. Mitch Geiger, service error right back. Now mind you, we are at five full sets. Carthage at 24 service errors. Desari now having a conversation again with the R1 even though they got the point. Ricochet's pinball kill. Carthage gets the point back. An advantage of Tarble is every kill, every hit. Long game, longest one for Carthage this year. For game one, swept in three last night. Did the sweeping. Hits the Raptors and falls. A 4-1 run for the Firebirds. Coach Pena takes the time out. Fans on their feet. We want to remind everybody, stick around for the post game show on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Coach Key Kafer is gonna come up to the booth. We're gonna discuss this game. My goodness, are we gonna have a lot to talk about after this outstanding CCIW game for Carthage to look again. 25-20 set one, Carthage. 25-21 set two, NYU. 25-14 in set three, you thought it was fully gonna go the way of Carthage, it did not. NYU clawed back late in set four to win 25-22. And again, 10-7 set five after two in a row. Back and forth and forth and back we go. It was eight to seven after the service error. But then Marcus with a kill and then the ace. By Marcus, so two points in a well by, in a row by Marcus. Deep breath for the aforementioned Marcus, clears the net. That one hits the ceiling, goes out of play. Hit the top of the head of the Carthage player, NYU. Their bench and Boyer getting vocal. Boyer not in the rotation at this time. 
to serve the lefty, Lee. Decoy, out of play, no touch by Knudsen. NYU backed within one, two quick points out of the time out. You don't want to ever use the term moral victory, but my goodness. Good pass over the middle, left alone in the back row was Rasmussen. Boltheis with his seventh kill. Carthage needs four. McNulty the setter with the left. Near side. Double hit called on the pass by Lee. Carthage needs three. Sorry, was able to get returned. Ooh, over the hill. <laughs> Mitch Geiger was lining up for a missile drop. Hit the tape. Carthage 12, NYU 10. Folks, if you were with us all night, thank you. What a thrilling end we have here in Kenosha. Out of play! Osiecki a half foot behind the back line. Twenty-seven service errors for NYU. Drew Jansen gives it right back. Every time you think one team is going to take the advantage for such reason. Swiping at it, they're saying it stays in. The back row of Rye Kagan tilted his head back, didn't necessarily agree, but it was right there. The line, line judge was two feet away from the call. Tarbo on their feet, 14 Carthage, NYU 11. Number one versus number 15 on a Friday night in Kenosha. Folks, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be all she wrote. Carthage wins in five on a service ace for the Firebirds. What a game. One of the best you will ever see at the D3 level of NCAA men's volleyball. My goodness, Coach Key Kafer is clapping for the crowd. I cannot wait to speak with him in a few moments. Don't go anywhere. Carthage wins in five thrilling sets against the number 15 ranked Violets of NYU. We'll be back, post game show, coming up on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. The post game show on the Firebird Broadcasting Network. Coach, I don't even know where to start, but my goodness, what a win. <laughs> I'm not sure there is a place to start because that was such a team win. We played so many guys today in different roles. Yeah. Um, Justin Jurdak coming off the bench with a great float serve, scoring a bunch of points for us. Uh, Ryan Cholinski off the bench. Mm -hmm. Big block in set five. Yeah. Massive block in set five. And then Joe Kolwitz off the bench, ace to win it. Yeah. You know? That's how you win national championships. Yep. That kind of effort, that kind of fight, in that kind of production across the entire roster. Um, like, there's so many guys trying to create so many advantages for us. Um, and they're all ready. They're ready to go make plays, and I couldn't be more proud of those guys. And, and team wins, yep. right? It, God, got to love it. It was a lot of fun tonight. I look at set four, and the reason I say that is the it was quiet. Yeah, sets one sure. was loud, sets two was loud, set three was loud, set four got quiet. And I kept saying on the broadcast, although Carthage has a two point lead, NYU's a great squad. Yep. They found their way back. What did
did you talk about after set four to get ready for set five? I mean, we're just making aggressive errors, we're, and that's the, that's the problem. Yeah. Bye, Julie. <laughs> we, we just made a bunch of aggressive errors, and so, um, you know, you have to try to dictate play to win yeah. national championships on your side of the court. Sure. And I didn't really think any of those errors were, like, bad errors. We just were aggressive and missed. Mm -hmm. and, and Mitch actually takes a great swing on two late in set five into the top of the tape, and that's yeah. a great, great play. And so if we try those things, we stay aggressive. By the time April rolls around, those are going to go down. We're going to yeah. score those points. And there are errors here tonight, but we didn't give up. We kept battling. I, that was the message, right? Like, we are still dictating play. Yeah. We just got to keep staying on top of it and continue to play Carthage Volleyball, and the match will come to us. I said it was one of the most unique games I've called in my almost 20 years of calling volleyball. One of the reasons is a lot of communication with the refs on both teams. Kind of talk us through what, what was happening there. Was it rotational questions, if you don't mind my asking? Yeah, so NYU was kind of struggling in their rotation, so they got okay. a couple out of rotation calls when um, their opposite and their setters weren't standing in the got right it. spaces. Um, you know, it got a little chippy between uh, the cross the court, mm -hmm. and I think um, the, there were a lot of tight calls in the yeah, lines. Yeah, very close. And I think the line judges had to make some tight calls that could have yeah. gone either way. And I think both teams were maybe a little upset uh, with those calls that we thought were opposite. Uh, and, and so that, you know, refs are human. They make yeah. good calls, they make bad calls. Those, there were so, men's volleyball <laughs> is so fast. The oh. ball is moving so fast. Yeah. You can't blame them for trying to make a call and doing the right stuff. So, um, you know, as that match wore on, we were just trying to figure out exactly where we were yeah. uh, in terms of those calls. But um, yeah, it, it's just the out of rotation calls and then kind of some, some talk through the net that needs to go away so we can win a national championship. Sure. Um, talk me through your strategy of timeouts. The, what I was saying during the call is, it seems to me you're more traditional. Hey, they get a little bit of momentum, let's call a timeout and stop it. Is that the mindset that you took tonight at least? Yeah, I think, like, I like to let the guys play a little bit. I yeah. think traditionally I'm taking a timeout maybe a little bit later than most people will, okay. kind of let the run go. Just trying to hope we can save one for late and, and really yeah. get a timeout in a big impact moment late in a set. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's that fourth set timeout, you were right. Like, it got a real, like, lazy and quiet in yeah. the gym. And I was just I was waiting for, waiting for them to score a point to call a timeout <laughs> because we, we're kind of going back and forth in that laziness and the quietness. Yeah. And finally, they scored a point to call a timeout. And again, we made aggressive errors. If we're going to make aggressive errors, smart, yeah. aggressive plays, we'll live with those. And in the fifth set, they went down for us. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I think I'm traditionally maybe letting our guys play a little longer. Sure. Um, you know, I tell them all the time they got to trust each other. they got to trust the system. And, and i got to trust them to get us out of some runs sometimes. Talk me through how you coach the team service ace versus service error. And the reason I say that is, it's not as simple as, well, just keep swinging. But at the same time, a lot of teams I've called, when you get to that 15, 20 mark of service errors, you get hesitant, you get, you get reserved, and that causes more errors. Your yeah. team kept swinging, and they kept dropping yeah. when they needed and to. And it paid off late. David yeah. with the big ace and Joe with the big ace late. Yeah. That literally won us the match, 15-11, right? Yeah. Those two points changed the momentum and, and win a match for us. So you got to stay aggressive. When you have, you know, we got guys, you got to let them go be guys. Yeah. You don't want to take them, take the reins and pull them back. you yeah. got to let them go be aggressive and hit the crap out of the ball. So, um, no, you got to let your guys go hit serves. Um, we got Justin uh, Jurdot in there to serve for Kyle Radecki. Mm -hmm. Um, to get one more float serve in. So yeah, we were making too many errors, I thought. So the adjustment there was to get Justin in for a yeah. float serve, a little more controlled serve. Sure. Um, and Kyle was making a little too many errors, wasn't scoring enough. So um, we did make a slight adjustment there yeah. with our server to try to put more balls in play. Um, but you know, Justin did a great job off the bench. Again, the bench won this match for us. Yeah. Ryan Chilowinski, big block. Joe Kolowitz, big ace. Justin scored points pretty much every time he went back to serve. Mm -hmm. and, and it's those guys that win you matches. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm so proud of how they're ready to step up for a big moment. Uh, Zach Boltice, first match back. Yes. He yes. played out of his mind today. We, we need to get him more balls. We just thought I got to get him more balls. He's the best middle hitter in the country. We got to yeah. get him more balls. Um, but he put out of his mind in his first match back. I'm so proud of that kid. Um, G. McNulty, we changed the offense with more of the gap as the match went on. Mm -hmm. He started finding the middles there to get us going. So um, that's a gritty, gritty win by us. We dug, we dug so many balls. We blocked 11 balls tonight. Yeah. We keep telling the guys, defense wins. Our offense wasn't great tonight, yeah. but the defense was so elite tonight, we stayed in it, and we made some plays late. How do you keep the momentum going forward now? Because again, number 15 ranked preseason versus number one, it lived up to those expectations. How do you keep that winning strategy? Yeah, it's harder on the road, right? So we've got to yeah. get on the bus and drive five hours to Ohio next weekend, and that's <laughs> yeah. going to be really, really tough for us. Um, you know, we're hoping to get Carter Schmidt back at some point to really mm -hmm. kind of give our offense a lift. Um, so, yeah, you got to 
we are so close to being connecting offensively, right? Mm -hmm. And we're not even at our highest level of volleyball. I thought NYU was kind of the same space. Like our offenses weren't clicking, yeah. right? And if our offense can click with that level of defense, boy, are we going to be scary. And then we get Carter Schmidt back, it, it's, it's going to be wild. We're, we're just such a talented team with our offense. We just got to continue to work on that connection piece. And yeah. the effort in the backcourt, the effort in the frontcourt, the block balls and dig balls. Jack McDonald today had a career day defensively. Oh, absolutely. Only his like second or third week playing libero in his entire life. Yeah. He's played outside the rest of his life. And he's sticking in there and digging balls with his chest and arms <laughs> and diving all over the place. Great, great serve receive. Uh, that's another kid, man. Like we put him in a really, really tough spot this year. You know, late in the fall to transition him to libero and see yeah. if he could do it. Um, that's not not easy to play a new position. No. And he's made that transition seamlessly here, and he's getting better every single day. And I'm so proud of the work he puts in, in the practice gym, but in reps, in mm. the weight room. You know, that kid's a winner, and, and that's what we love to have in our program, just winners. Yeah. Well, Coach, I'm going to have to come to one of these practices one day and see how you operate. It's awesome. Shoe game, you said you were bringing the heat tonight. Yeah, these, these are the real ones. These are the real ones right here. I think the shoes helped, you know, maybe a point or two at the end. We'll love get a it. coach's point every once in a while from him, for sure. For I sure. love it. Coach, congratulations. We'll see you in a few days. Thanks, man. Go Firebirds. Right. Outstanding win, Coach Key Kafer. We could have talked for an hour after that one. But my goodness, a win atop of all wins. Number one takes out number 15. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for joining us this evening for the Firebird Broadcasting Network again tomorrow. Carthage at EDU, doubleheader women's basketball versus Elmhurst, and the men's team takes on Elmhurst. Next Wednesday, back here, men's basketball versus Carroll, and then next Friday, diving Wisconsin private championships. Executive producer today, Michael Love. Producer, John Voinovich as well as this game has been a presentation of Carthage College. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good rest of your night.